chamber break here. Quick video on how farmers drive straight lines. There's a button down here that says auto. You can hit that button if your tractor has uh, RTK or real-time kinetic GPS. Uh, and that would tie into this monitor here. If you don't have that, which this tractor does not, then you have to steer. There's a dome that would go on top for the RTK this tractor does not have. So planters have markers. And there it goes. That marker is going down and that's going to tell me where the next round is at. This in front of me is the marker from the previous round. So the most difficult part is getting your do eye dominance. So for example, if you have your right eye closed, it may look like that. If you can see the silver on the hood, there's a silver line. If you have your left eye, it might look like that, or vice versa. So you close one eye, it looks like this. You close one eye, or close the other eye, it looks like this. So you first have to figure out which eye is your dominant eye, because that can move you over four or five inches including the person who set up the marker, which you extend them or bring them in, their eye dominance can set up where they drive the planter. All right, so this is how you drive a straight line. There is no RTK. And what I've learned to do is I've learned to kind of go off the front of the hood down the field. And I'm always looking further down than more beeping. These monitors beep a lot. Uh, telling me that there's something wrong with the planter or something of that of the tractor so you're driving along and you just figure out which eye is your dominant eye and you drive um, you figure out if you need to close one or open one or open both once you figure out which is dominant then you always just drive that spot so it would be basically like this all the time but the key is that you look way down the way like I look down the distance here of the field and I'm basically not driving right off the front of my hood. If I do that, then I start to swerve. And once you start to swerve, then the next round, because the markers are gonna swerve, is also gonna be off. And then if you try to correct it, then you plant a row over top of another row, and then the, the corn or the beans or even wheat becomes basically like weeds to one another. They starve each other out of, of moisture and whatnot. So anyway, that's how you drive a tractor without having the auto steer as it's called for the tractor you just hit a button and it drives in this planter we do not have auto steer if you had auto steer you wouldn't even need a marker i wouldn't even have one going across the field here but basically you figure out which eye you do this is the same with shooting a handgun uh, you figure out which eye is dominant and then you use uh, that eye to figure out where you're driving and if your planter or your line is set up incorrectly for like the other eye then you could just be off the front of the hood uh, driving to the right or left of your line. I look down on the horizon and I just continue to follow that and continue to go slow and smooth because smooth is fast and that's how I believe that uh, you can do it. This is Chamber Break. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Don't forget to ask any questions you might have. Uh, it's really important to continue to get subscribers. Uh, it makes it all worthwhile for the people that I inspire. Thank you. Enjoy. Forward forever. Backward never.